Hello, hello, hola, how's everybody? Welcome back. So today I'm gonna try to create a look for like for a quince. I'm just trying to figure out even though I'm gonna go get um my makeup done. Um I'm gonna try and see if I could just create something and maybe see what a good look would be for a quince. Cause like a, you guys know my niece's quince is coming up in two weeks already, so let's just get started to it. I'm gonna start off with priming. And again, I'm using the Sigma's base primer. And just blend all that in. I have a lot of Mary Kay brushes, but um, I have a lot of eye brushes and they're all Mary Kay's. So, you guys know. Don't need to say what they are, but... Besides the face brushes that I'm going to be using from the previous video that I showed, that I uploaded about the products that I just got. And like I said, I'm going to go back in with um, this. this. is what I'm going to use to try to create a look for like a quince or a wedding or something. And I'm going to use this one too. This one, the one is the Wish Me Luck. This is like the white one. Probably not show much, so I'm gonna actually go in with this one because I think this one's gonna just blend in with my um the base that I'm using. So I'm gonna go in with the top one there, and let's see, it's a little better. So there's this video that I want to do. It's probably gonna, the look is gonna probably be a little funky or funny looking, but I'm still gonna do it. I just don't want to say anything yet. I'm kind of excited for it. I'm just gonna be unique, I guess, my own way. I don't know if anybody's done a video like that. I haven't seen it, so... So we'll see. I do want to use the unicorn color palette that I got. I don't have it here. Oh yeah, I do. I do want to use this one, the rainbow from the last video too. Um, these beautiful colors. So I just go with this one. Just keep using this one here. So this brown one is called Dawn. And again, I'm in my daughter's room. Um, She's the one that has a, her and my son are the only ones that have the pretty walls right now. So what I've been asking like my family is um, what kind of videos do they want to see? Or would they be interested in seeing? And I got some opinions. And I wanted to ask you guys too that watch my videos is what are you guys interested or what would you guys like to see more of and another question that I forgot to ask is um the time like is there a, a specific time that probably would be better and if so what time would you like for me to upload videos like you guys must, you know no I'm new at this and this is more of your guys' channel, so um, I'm using this right here just because I want to reuse this brush. And this I got from Walgreens, and this is how it looks, and it's just easily to clean. You know, sorry, it's all dirty. To clean the brushes so you don't um, get the colors mixed. And I am going to go in with Sa Sarah, I think it's what it's called, and it's going to be this color down here. here so yeah um i just want to know basically um you know this is going to be basically your guys's channel this is your home this is your your place and i just want to know if there's a specific time that works best for you guys and if so um what times and what days so now i'm just going to use this fluffy just kind of blend all this in just please let me know what time would you guys like for me to you know I'll try to do my best to please everyone 
which of course it's kind of impossible to please everybody at once but um, yeah so if you guys could see it like you guys can tell the from the brown that I just used so now I'm just gonna go in and clean it and let's see if I can it's all clean now and I'm gonna just go back with the one I just used the sunset and just kind of I what I like about makeup is that um, you could play with it I'm gonna go with Play with it, you know, and just create anything. It might not be perfect, it might not be good, but, you know, we all learn from it. So that's the good thing. I mean, I don't think makeup has to be perfect. It's all how you feel. I mean, there's times where I I create um, looks that might not look good or kind of go, but that's just whatever. So I'm going to use this in light, this, and go in with, where's that little brush, with this, with this one here. And just, I'm going to dab it in there, just kind of like brush some out, and create a little crease right here. Um... But yeah, you know, when you're learning to draw, when you're learning to paint, um, whatever it is, you know, it's always not going to be perfect. It's, you know, it's never going to be perfect when you're first doing it. So within time, you'll get to learn what goes good together and what doesn't. And sometimes, you know, things that don't go good together, that's just style that you like and you prefer it, it doesn't mean it's wrong but that's just who you are you yourself you are your own you there's no two of you and um, that's what makes us unique so I'm gonna use okay this is I just wanted to let you guys know and be clear that on my last video, I wasn't sure what these things could be used for or what they are or um, how to use them or whatever. So I did searching and this is the Wish Me Luck. Like I said, it's a five stars and the original price is $8. But if you guys are interested right now, it's five sixty, and it's from Co Colourpop. So um, it says to apply with fingertip to hair and body. Okay, um, so this is for, to be clear, this is for hair and body. So... Going on the reviews, it said, you know, also that um, people reviewing that it's for hair and body, but to be careful because they were using it for their eyes. And like I said, the good thing about stuff, you know, um, this blending brush is a blending brush, but we could always use it for, you know, highlights or whatever, you know, just you can always use things for whatever you want. So the best way to apply this is by patting it and this is what I'm gonna use and, and apply for my eyes so just be careful be aware it's not for your eyes and I am going in and being myself and using it for my eyes so I'm just patting it my crease might not be perfect but you know sometimes when you try to create something or you're trying to do something, it's not perfect and you might not know how to fix something. Um, the end result might look good. Might be nice. Neat. Um, let's see, what if I use... Because I don't want them to go in my nail. I'm going to use this. Um, this one, this is a cream eye color and I'm gonna use this one better it's pretty if you, if you try to let's see if I can focus this but when you try to grab it grip it it's just like so I don't know it falls off the brush too so 
well, let's just try this. It doesn't matter. We'll just... Yeah, you see how it just, yeah, like I said. So that's why Paulette says to pat it better. Or it works better when you pat it. What do you think? Hmm. It's not bad. I like it, so I guess we're just gonna have to stick with patty. I almost dropped it, so I tried to hurry up and put that on my lid. And that might be a little too much. Just pat, pat. and go back in with the brown and just kind of I'm just going to go in with the brown and darken it up a little bit oh, I think it's still a little wet here okay so I wanted to show you guys also the I, the bra pencil that I use, which is from Mary Kay, and it's almost gone. i got to clean my fingers so I won't get it everywhere. Um, I wanted to see the difference from, you guys remember, the ColourPop one. So I think when I use them, I use, you know, the pencil one day and then I use the gel the other day. They kind of look the same color, so I'm going to try and compare Let's try the color pop one. Can you tell the difference? I think this one just makes it look a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna... They're both beautiful, but I really like how this is more like a natural look. So... This is a um, Minerals Something Eyeliner R01 and it's like an old one that I have in the top part of my eye. The reason why to this is just makes your eye um, eyeliner like thicker. Or your eyelash um, roots like thicker. I just don't like doing it because I hate getting it on the bottom. But you can tell like the difference from from it already. See that? I did get some on top, but I don't worry about it because I am gonna be um, doing the tops right now, the top of it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use the one that I got from the box, the lure box, Art Architect Slim Eyeliner, and it's a waterproof. I don't think I ever mentioned the name of this on it.
So I am going to go in with the little napkin thing that came as a sample from Neutrogena. Just to kind of clean it up a little bit here. They don't always come out the same. But it's fine. I don't really worry much. Or I guess stress about it much right now. Still haven't mastered it. That's that. Um, I'm just gonna do my brow gel, brush these and keep them in place. So yes, I'm gonna keep my brows like that. Let's see, um how they last, how they compare, and how it works. And the mascara that I'm using, it's the, um, May believe I've always wanted to use this because back then I used to see people using this one and going to this one. This was a popular one. I'm pretty sure people still use it, but now that there's more stuff out there, it's not like in everybody's hands now. So I have always um wanted to do like a makeup look for my niece for her quince but um my sister had already talked to her friend which she's um she's working at a salon that does you know hair and makeup and everything could have saved her a couple dollars and also helped me you know with building my experience and career I guess you can say Cause I do like doing hair. I do work like making, working with makeup. Like I said on my first video, you know, I'm very crafty. Um, making bowls, trying to pick up my um nail career again. Well, I mean, I never really went to school for it stuff, but yeah. Okay, so, um, that was that. I think now I'm gonna just go ahead and, I think the cat's trying to come in, um, use the Mary Kay. I'm just trying to, like I said, get rid of a couple of stuff. So, And I think I'm gonna go in with the with the um, Maybelline 24 hour, cause if I were to decide to go ahead and do my makeup, that's what I'll be using. And I'm gonna go in with the for that I'm gonna use the the Murphy. I also got this Mor Murphy or Sigma. Sorry, I don't know where I'm getting Murphy from. The Sigma. Flat angle kabuki brush in F22 and this is to apply the foundation. So get off Chrissy. Go go. Go. So um I'm gonna go ahead and just apply. I don't wanna do it directly to the brush because then I hate when it goes like in there. I should have got less because last time that I tried to use this foundation it just looked like I had a whole lot I overdid it
No, I think this actually came free when I ordered the um gel the the eyeliner the gel one gel eyeliner the wicked I want to say I actually got that free it was around Christmas too there's that I am gonna use this one here this is the Mary Kate one this is um the concealer in beige two. I usually actually use this underneath my foundation. Check on the description for the other videos of the products I received and I'm using. When things are looking harsh, just blend it in. Or I sometimes feel like it blends in, but then at the same time it just takes some products off. So, I may not to mention my skin, it just... I don't like it. My skin's not looking good right now. All these um, dark spots. I'm gonna go in with the and this one here is the F10. This is highlight or contour, and I'm just going to use this to, I guess, highlight, and I mean, if you use, consider this highlight, but kind of fix up my problems here, here, and then... I will use, this one's the cheek, and I'm going with the Avon. This one's almost gone, so I'm just trying to get rid of it already here. Don't mind the harsh line, I'll blend them in at the end. Meanwhile, I'm baking, or that sits. It stays. I am going to 
go in with let's see I think I'm gonna use this one I'll be using this one and this one these two I'll be using these two and I'm going to go in with um, sunset and dawn which are the first two colors I had used. Dawn and Sunset. So I'm going with Dawn first. I'm gonna use the same Mary Kay one and for that so since I'm using my phone to record I did take notes like the color pop and the information to the products that I'm using because I'm using my phone to record this and that's in case you're wondering what that paper or that noise is I'm gonna use the, I don't have a new brush that I could use for the cheeks, so I'm gonna use the same brush as always. But first, I'm actually gonna, I wanna do the, this is called Lucky Money. So this is the sand one where my feet is gonna fall in, but my feet. Lucky Penny is rated um the four star and a half and it's a highlighter a fingertip application will provide the highest amount of coverage and for a more sheer look we suggest using a flat synthetic cheek or foundation brush or a dual fiber brush a flat synthetic brush will give more coverage and the dual fiber brush will give a more airbrush effect which I'm gonna be using is the dual fiber brush Col color build from natural to instant build to your heart desires so this is what I'll be using so I think I'm gonna go in with that one first but let's just go ahead and try remember if you guys remember this one I had so much fun playing with so I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the finger so swipe Okay, maybe that's not the brush I'll be using, actually, I think. I think I'm going to use this one. I really wanted to try this but um if I were to do like this look I think I'll probably use Nikki's um highlighter okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the blush I am going to So, I don't know if I told you guys, but this is a small dual fiber face brush. It's $8 and it's a four and a half star also. Um, I wonder if I can use this. I'm going to try it. I'm going to use this for this here. But I really have to say that I actually like this one. 
for it. This one's pretty. I'm just going to use all the brushes I have right now, I guess. And also for my nose, I use this. Okay, so that's that. So I like how soft this really is, but it needs a little bit more shine. I think this would be more like an everyday kind of usage, just. And the Nikki's, I would use it more like for. Going out finishing spray. Wow, I actually like how this smells. Mm. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna use. Let's try. It's not bad. I think if I were to use this look to the Ginse, I would probably use a Wicked eyeliner. But, I mean, this one looks all messy. I mean, if you're a lefty, you're trying to do your right, it's always gonna be messy looking. But, if you're righty, try to the left. I'm pretty sure your left would not be, your right eye would not be looking pretty. Okay. So that's not bad, the, or the lunch money. I mean, so this is the one I don't, I can't pronounce. It's S A H A R A. Sara. This one. I'm going to go back in with this one. And just kind of fix. And make this a little darker here. I think I'm going to use this to just get the top here. So sometimes based on how I do my eyeliner, when I'm doing the, the crease part here, like it ends right here, but when I do an eyeliner, it like kind of covers it so you can't really see it. So when I'm done with my eye, I will go back in to, you know, have that pop out a bit and show. That's just something I do. Which once I get the hang of all this beauty stuff, I probably won't be doing that anymore, but... So you can see more of the brown now. So that's that. Okay, so let's just go ahead and move to the lips. Now, for the lips, I'm going to try from the last set, which was these. And I'm going to try... This one here. Who do you think? Do you guys like this one? That one's region, which was the second one. What do you think? 
Which color would you use? Or let's go with That one's my jam. So this is today's look. Just trying to get inspirations for a quince. And using these products that I need to review. That the email that I got to wants me to re give them their feedbacks on this. I mean, I haven't really still have much time to play with it. Um, I had a hard time using this contour. But that's it. This is the look. Let me know what you guys think. Let me get you off of this thing that my husband created for me. And there we go. Better lighting. But this is it. Um, This is my somewhat expiration for a quince. Not perfect. Not good. But... I hope it would stand a whole night. Which color would you use? Let me know which one you like. Please let me know what time would you like for me to upload my videos and also what days. I do plan on doing at least, you know, two videos a week. I do plan on, like I said, doing hairs, workouts, and do-it-yourself projects but I would like to hear more from you guys from the community what would you like for me to post for you and what interests you guys have so thank you for watching please subscribe hit the notification bell um, to get notifications when my videos come up and share please share your videos if you really liked it please be kind and show some love by sharing my videos well thank you and have a blessed day